put mirrors on the ceiling We'll have a bunk bed by the bed You'll line my mattress with nails One for every time Something psycho came out of your mouth Your cabin eyes are green Your scarlet lips have sent a sales pitch For the circus in your mind Good morning, Patriots. It's Monday, October, 20, October 14th. I'm Lily, and here's what's happening at ATAN today. Attention seniors, please check your email for an important senior to class trip survey. The last day to submit a response is October 23rd. Also, we're planning to, or to order senior t-shirts, and we need your help. If you have an idea for a t-shirt, please email at, at, to Mr. Stu Poindexter at spoindexter at k12rmoa.org or bring it to Ms. Sprague or Mr. Poindexter in room 403 in the 400 pods. We will collect all of the ideas and then share them with you so all you can vote for the one that you would like to be your class t-shirt. All ideas must be submitted by Wednesday, October 23rd. The month of October provides so many ways for us to give back to our community. Here are a few of the opportunities that are going on at AHS. Here's a chance for all animal lovers to show some love. The Animal Welfare Club is collecting donations for the SPCA. This drive is being hosted to help the SPCA by bringing in cat and dog food or treats during the week of October 28th. There will be a bin out in the front lobby of the School for the Club members of students of AHS to bring in the supplies. This will be a huge help to the SPCA as right now they are filled to the brim with hungry animals. And don't forget to bring in those diapers for the loaves and fishes diaper drive that will continue to until the end of this month. You can place boxes of diapers in the play bins at the school entrance. The AHS blood drive is coming on October 29th. See Mr. Lyons in room 152 to find out how to donate. To make an appointment or grab a two permission slip if you are under 17. The Red Cross service will be here from 9 to 2 on, the da on that day, <laughs> so sign up to donate now. It's, new week and it's a new week and therefore a new staff to celebrate Doppelganger. This English teacher, Miss Jennifer MacDonald, <laughs> and now it's time uh, to find her celebrity Doppelganger. Email findings to WPAT at k 12 tomorrow or DM us on Instagram at 8 today. We will reveal the winner on Thursday. And now here's the Latin word of the day. Hi, it's Mr. Lucky. Welcome to Latin in 17 seconds. Today we're going to learn the word to say when you're in pain. This word is ehu. If you're in pain, in Latin, you say ehu. It's fun to say ehu. But you know what's even more funner to do? Take the Latin. Come by to room 223 to learn more. And here's Molly with sports. On Friday night, the Patriot football team showed exactly how much potential this team has, unloading on Goochland for a 27 to nothing win, their first, se their first of the season. The defense held the Bulldogs scoreless, while the offense scored twice in the first quarter. On their way to the win, the Patriots will now prepare for Friday's crosstown mashup with Monticello this Friday. On Saturday, the cross-country team hosted a number of Central Virginia opponents at Panorama Farms and put on quite the performance. The Patriot boys took first place overall in the open 500-meter run with seven Patriot runners finishing in the top 10 led by Caleb Galton and Jack Mackey, who finished first and second. The varsity boys also took first in the varsity race with JT Hills and Eli Phillips taking 8th and 13th place in a field over 200 runners. The varsity girls took 7th place 
In the 500 meter run, Julian Okus put in the girls' best time at 19.55. The team and its fans said farewell to their senior runners on a beautiful day for Senior Day. And congratulations to AHS Marching Band, who under the leadership of Andrew Laprade, finished first in the primary rounds of their competition in the 4A group on Saturday and fourth, o fourth overall in the finals. There's a lot going on around here this week uh, with the Ragged Mountain individual at Panorama tomorrow afternoon. The volleyball and field hockey team will play at home against Fluvanna tomorrow night and on Wednesday. The JV football team will be will host Monticello. That game will start at 6.30 p.m. That's all we have for today. See you all tomorrow on A-Down Today. Bye!